There are many different types of option strategies out there. However, the key component in options trading is making sure the trade is set up and executed correctly. In this video, we'll walk through how to enter and exit options trades using the options chain and order entry windows within the Trader Workstation platform. So let's start trading options. So here we have an options layout that we set up in a previous video, and we're gonna go ahead and just use it to walk through a few different ways to put on options orders. Now, I'm not gonna be placing anything too complicated. We're just gonna go through how to actually buy a call and buy a put. And this will be the simple basic foundation that you'll need when you start building more complex strategies. So as you'll see here on the layout that we have open, on the left-hand side, we have the options chain. On the upper right-hand side here towards the middle, we have the order entry window. Below that, we have the activity window where you can see your orders. To the right of that, we have the equities chart. And then below all of that, on the left, we have our portfolio. And on the right, we have the performance profile. So we have a good set of tools here to be able to actually put on an options position. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is the order entry window up here at the top. And let's just take a quick walkthrough of what this is telling you and how you're going to use it. So on the upper left-hand side of this window, we see that we have Apple. This is the financial instrument that we would be trading. Now below that, we have the buy and sell button where we choose whether we're going to buy or sell the position. And right now, what you'll see as we kind of look across the board of the rest of the window is that this is actually set up for the equities position because it's connected to Apple, the equity. But what I'm gonna do is just to get this queued up for an options position, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on one of these contracts here. And what you'll notice is it brings over the put position that I just clicked on. And we'll walk through that in more detail in just a minute. I just wanted to queue up an options position in this window. So now we have an Apple put up in this window. And again, if we want to buy the put or sell the put, this is what we're gonna choose down here. If I click the buy button, this is gonna turn blue. If I click the sell button, this window will turn red. Now, next to the buy and sell button, we have the quantity. So automatically the platform will queue you up with one contract. So below that, we have how much capital would be used for the position. Now, options are traded in multiples of 100. So even though this says 11 USD, we would need to multiply this by 100 to figure out how much capital is actually being used. So in this position, we'd actually be using roughly $1,100. Next to that, we have the type of order we want to place. Now, right now it's queued up as a limit order. If we wanna place a market order, I can hit this drop down here and I can go to market. So I can change that to a market order. And over here we have the limit price or how much we're willing to pay for the position. And next to that, we have the time and force. So right now it's just queued up to be ready to go for today. But if I want it to sit out on the market until it gets filled, no matter what, I can change this to good till canceled. Now in this advanced drop down here, if I click on this plus sign, it will bring up a few other features. So I can attach a stop loss or a profit taker to this. I've previously discussed this in a past video on placing orders in general, but this is where you'll want to set up your stop loss or profit taking for the position. And if you do want to set these up, all you have to do is go in here and click stop loss and profit taker and choose where you want your profit taking price to be and where you want your stop price to be. For now, I will take these off. Now in the middle of the order entry window, you'll be able to see the bid and the ask. So on the left hand side, we have the bid and on the right hand side, we have the ask. You'll notice that the ask right now, if I hover over it, is at 11.05, and the bid right now, if I hover over it, is at 10.85. If I hover over the middle that says mid, it will split the bid ask spread. Now in options, this can actually be really beneficial and it's something that is usually advised when people are getting into options trading. Due to the fact that spreads can be rather wide in some options contracts, it's good to place an order between the bid and the ask. So Interactive Brokers gives you that feature right away. If I just click the mid price here, it will change this limit order to the mid price. I don't have to do any calculations. It will just automatically change it to the mid price. Now Interactive Brokers also has this feature called adapt this uses an algo system to get you the best fill price. So if you want to use that, you can just turn this on like so. Okay, so now we have a general idea of how this order entry window works. Let's go ahead and choose an options contract to bring it into this window. So if I go over here to the options chain, what you'll notice is when I hover on the right hand side of the strike, so if I go to the strike in the center like this and I hovered near the right hand side, you'll notice a P shows up. 
if I click this, it will automatically put a put in the order entry window. Right now in the order entry window, we have an Apple February 9th, $200 put. If I go down here and I still hover over the put side and I click again, it will change my order to the Apple February 9th, $197.50 put. Now, same thing goes for the left-hand side. If I hover on the left-hand side of the strike price, you'll see a C pop up on the left. So if I click this, it will bring up a call position. So now instead of having the Apple 197.5 put, we now have the Apple 197.5 call. So when we choose from the center, meaning we hover over a strike and click on one side or the other, we then need to come over to the order entry window and decide whether or not we are selling or buying that position. So I have a call queued up in here, but I have not chosen whether or not I want to buy or sell it. So I need to come in here and choose whether I wanna buy or whether I wanna sell. Now, if you automatically know that you want to buy or you want to sell, you can actually click on the call side of the options chain or the put side of the options chain. Now, what that looks like is if I go to the center of the options chain here and I hover over a strike price, let's say I choose 190, and then I go to the call side, I can choose to buy this call if I click on the ask. So you'll notice when I hover over the ask, it turns blue. And when I hover over the bid, it turns red. This is because if I click on the bid, I'm going to be selling the call. And if I click on the ask, I'm going to be buying the call. So if I click the ask, you'll notice that the window populates on the upper right hand side to a buy position of the 190 call for Apple. Now, same thing goes for the put side on the right. If I wanna just go ahead and pick whether or not I already want to be in a sell or a buy position without clicking the center section, if I want to sell a put, I will click on the bid. Notice how when I hover over it, it turns red just like the call. And if I want to buy a put position, I will click on the ask. Notice how when I hover over that, it turns blue. So if I wanna buy these 190 puts, I will click on that and it will change this to an Apple 190 put position. So in this window, we have an Apple 190 put and we have selected that we want to buy it. Right now, the limit order is placed at 184, which is on the bid. I'm gonna choose the mid price here to get filled and we're gonna go ahead and submit it. And we'll hit transmit. And now what you'll notice is that we have one contract that's been filled here for Apple with a 190 put. So it's right here in the middle section. We've filled that put order. And what you'll notice is down in the portfolio below the activity window, you can see that you have one contract in an Apple February 9th, 190 put. Now, if I wanna go ahead and close this position, I can right click on the position in my portfolio and you'll notice that these buttons appear at the top of this drop down menu. So in options, you have the option to roll your position. You can close your position, you can sell it, or you can buy more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just close the position. And what that will do is it will bring up a opposite order in the order entry window up here. Again, to make sure I get filled, I'm gonna click on the mid price here in the middle and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hit submit and I'll go ahead and hit transmit. And one other thing to point out is that when you place an options order or when you get one queued up, you will see this performance profile pop up. This is showing you exactly what the position looks like as far as risk and max loss and max return and other information regarding what type of position you're getting into. We'll discuss this more in depth at another date, but for now know that this is the performance profile and it will pop up when you place an options order. So I'm going to go ahead and hit transmit. And now it's sitting out here on the market and it hasn't been filled yet. So what you'll notice is it says quantity zero of one has been filled. So it's sitting out there waiting to be filled. I can still see that I have a position down here in my portfolio. If I want to immediately get out of this, I can change this to a market order. So I can go to market, change it to a market order. I need to update this order over here. And then you'll notice that now we have one position that's been filled here and I no longer have a position or any contracts in the Apple February 9th, 190 puts. One other thing to note about this order entry window is that you can change the quantity and you can change whatever the limit price is. So it doesn't need to be a limit price that is showing up here. You can actually click on this and change it to whatever you want. I could type in, you know, 50 cents if I wanted to wait for it to come down to 50 cents and fill me. I could also put in here that I want to get, you know, five contracts instead of one. So I can go in here and I can adjust it to whatever I want for my position. Now there is another way to place option orders and that's using the options trader. So right now in this layout that you're seeing, I just have the options chain on the left hand side and then everything is split out on the right hand side with an order entry window being separate and the activity window being separate and the portfolio being separate. But I do have a tab that has the options trader open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the options chain tab that I have. I'm gonna click on that and it's going to bring up the options trader. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this or haven't seen one of the past videos, just to give you a refresher, if you go up to new window and you go down to option tools under new window, it says options chain or options trader. Now on the other layout that I had, I was using the options chain. On this layout here, this is the options trader. So the options trader has a lot more pieces to it. You can actually trade within it rather than having everything be separate. 
So I wanna show you how to take some trades in the options trader. Now I've done a previous video on just the options trader. So if you want a walkthrough on the options trader and just all of the moving parts of it, definitely check out that past video. But we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna place an order in here. Now the options trader has a couple different ways to place the order. So similar to the options chain, I can go in here and I can click on the strike price, either the put side or the call side. I can also use the bid and the ask. Again, if I hover over the bid, it turns red, I would be selling the calls. If I hover over the ask, it turns blue, I would be buying the calls. And same thing on the put side. So if I hover over the bid, I'd be selling the puts. If I hover over the ask, I would be buying the puts. Now I'm just gonna give this a little bit more room to be able to see the orders. So up here we can see that we're still on Apple and the last price for Apple was 189. So I wanna get my contracts somewhere close to 189, let's say. So I'm gonna stick with those 190 calls or puts. Now let's say I wanna get a call. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to buy on the ask. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring up an order under this trading section here. So under here, we can see that we have an Apple February 9th, 190 call. We can see that the action is to buy it. And we can see that the time in force is just for today. And we have it on a limit order. Now, if I wanna change the price of this or split the bid ask spread, what I can do is I can click here and you'll notice here on the left-hand side, it says ask, mid and bid. So similar to the order entry window, we're seeing those same three prices right here. So I can change this to the mid and we'll change the price of the limit order. And of course, if I wanna change this price to something else, I can click on here, I can change it to whatever I want. Now, when I'm good to go with the order, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit transmit. This will be similar to the order entry window that we were looking at previously where we hit submit. So I'm gonna hit transmit. And I'm gonna get the same pop-up. So I'm gonna see the performance profile on the right. And then I just need to transmit the order here on the left. So I'll hit transmit. And now what you'll see is this order is sitting out there waiting to be filled. So it hasn't been filled yet because it's still sitting in my orders window. If I wanna get it filled immediately, I'll just go to type and I'll change this to a market order. And I'll go ahead and hit U, which is update. If I make this a little bit bigger, you'll be able to see that this says update and that this says cancel, but I'll go ahead and hit update. And now the order has been placed and it's been filled. It's no longer sitting out there. The status shows one, meaning that it's been filled. And if I go over to my portfolio tab here, I can see it sitting in my portfolio. So I can see that we have one Apple February 9th, 190 call sitting in the portfolio. Now, another way to utilize this options trader is to actually have buttons that get you in and out of positions. So if I go up to this section up here in the buttons, I can actually set up a buy order button or a sell order button. To do that, I'm gonna hit this little tool icon here and this is gonna bring up the buttons window. So right now, these are the buttons that I have, but if I wanna add a new one, I can click new and I can click this drop down, and I can add any other type of button I want. So let's say right now I have buy limit, but let's say I wanna cancel all my orders. I can go ahead and hit cancel all orders. I can hit okay, and that button will appear here, and I will hit apply, and then I'll hit okay again. Now we have a cancel all button. So this is another way to get in and out of positions. If you want these buttons to transmit your order immediately, what you'll need to do is click this armed box here in the upper right-hand corner of the buttons tab. Notice how it says transmit orders instantaneously. If this is not checked, when you go to place your order by clicking the button, you will get another pop-up that asks you to transmit the order like we've been seeing. So if you wanna get in and out of the position quickly, you're gonna need to arm this section for the buttons. Now, what you'll notice is, is that a lot of these buttons are grayed out, but once we have a position active and we have positions going, they will light up again and you'll actually be able to click on them. I'll do another video later specifically setting up buttons, but just know that once you're in a position, you'll be able to use all of these buttons to close the position, cancel the position, get into the position, and so on. Now there's one last piece of setting up orders in Trader Workstation, and that's the strategy builder. I'll cover that one in my next video, but just so you understand how to get to it, if you wanna use it in the options trader, you're gonna click strategy builder here under trading, and this is where you can use it. If I go back to the layout that I previously had by clicking on this tab down here and I want to use this type of options chain without the options trader you'll notice at the bottom it says strategy builder and it is off so if I want to use the strategy builder I'm going to turn this on and it will pop up here this is another way to place an order and again I'll show you that in the next video <laughs>